Hi my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I'm a psychic medium oracle prophetess. So if you are new here, welcome in my loves. We are a high vibe tribe um, and a pillar of light channel, okay? Um, and those of you guys returning, welcome back, mi soul familia. Um, I hope that you guys are all doing wonderfully today, hanging in there with this um, really intense energy. <coughs> energy shifts, energy downloads, ascension, like everything. We're, we're feeling a lot right now, okay? So know that you're not alone and know you're not crazy, right? So, okay, so the message here today is, um, so earlier this morning I was, uh, I had to go to the store and um, when I was driving, um, I had, you know, from start to finish my whole trip, you know, which was about, you know, I don't know, half hour or so. Um, I was getting songs. The universe was just lining them up for me. I mean, it doesn't matter if I switched the station. It would be a sync, a sync, a sync, a sync, right? As far as the words, how I'm feeling, um, stuff that's resonant to me and the collective. Like, it was wild. Um, so the one that was like the winner, okay, because it literally was like, are you kidding me right now? Because it was like the last one before I got home. And it was by George Strait, who is like my all time fave. I love George Strait and Alan Jackson. Um, so the universe knew how I would take it and channel it out and perceive it. And the song is called Clear Blue Sky. And he's talking about, um, about this, you know, this woman that like enters his life, um, out of the clear blue sky. It's, it's literally a miraculous energy, something happening out of nowhere. Like it surprises you. It shocks you. It's like, um, I'm hearing, I am hearing reconciliation. So for some of you guys, it's reconciling with a past life soulmate, or even maybe someone from your past, you know, who, whom you've known or, you know, been friends with or you know maybe dated briefly in the past or you know something like that but this is true love because he says um he says here she comes a walking talking true love says i've been looking for you love surprise your new love has arrived right out of the clear blue sky that's the lyrics you guys go check out the song if i remember which i try to remember I will pin it down below in the comments um, for you for the you know to go listen to the link. But that song is your song. That is my song. That is your song. That is our song. Okay, this is what's happening right now. It is magical. Magic is in the air. Okay, so I don't know why I was shuffling this. I'm not even using this deck. Um, I wanted to start today with. Here she comes and walking, talking true love. Says I've been looking for you, love. And he's like, he's all for it because he's just like, this is it. Like, you know, she's talking true love, and it's it's true love. And it came to me out of the clear blue sky too. It's it's like this beautiful like they both just are perfect for each other, but it happens out of the clear blue sky. Okay, so that's the message. All right, hope you enjoyed it. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, let's get an overall energy for, look at that, out of the clear blue sky, you come together, you, you meet the love of your life, you start, you know, um, family with this person, a life with this person, you know, I'm seeing like, um, you know how they do like those slow-mo, like fast, like fast forward things of like a flower, like coming out of the ground, you know, and then like starting to bloom and blossom, but it's like, you know, in like a fast time or like when they see the clouds and the clouds are speeding by because it's like being sped up in, on video camera. That's what I'm seeing. But with like a rose like this, a red rose is what I saw. Speaking of these roses, you guys, we have Valentine's Day coming up. So there could be, you know, it's a day of love. It doesn't have to be romantic love. It's a day of love, right? So even though it's a Hallmark holiday, but still it's a day of love. And the, um, you know, everyone's so in alignment on that day with the energy of love and, you know, gratitude and appreciation and all that, right? It raises the vibration of the collective energy a lot. Okay. Um, so, you know, my money says that for many of you guys out there right now who are single, you're not going to be single. Um, come, end of February, beginning of March, you know, you, there's this very miraculous thing just poof, coming in towards you, okay? All right, so 
Page of Swords. Okay, so this could be someone who watches you from a distance. You know, maybe this is someone who, you know, maybe studies you. They have a crush on you. I don't know why I was called to pick that up. It was the Eight of Cups. Okay. Um, you know, this could be someone who left behind something. You know, maybe they're single now. And maybe you're someone who's like the one that got away, right? Could be that for some, for sure. A lot of you guys on my channel resonate as you know, um, you know, twin flames and, you know, you know that you have these very intense or, you know, past life soulmate connections. Um, and for some of you guys, it is that, but for some of you guys, it is not, it's someone completely new, but whatever the, whatever it is for you, it's love and it's big love. Okay. All right, here we go. Two of Pentacles, interesting. Knight of Swords, very fast. Very fast. Figuring out what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I think this person is that. Like they're like sitting there going like, I, I know I like this person. Like I can't stop thinking about this person. I'm crushing on this person, you know, like that. Um, so I do get that too. Um, but for me, what this is is It's like you're just living your like everyday life and things seem to be, you know, going, you know, it's very, what it, like the energy of the two of pentacles is, is what I get. See the ship though, the ship is about to arrive. That ship is coming in, okay? So it's like while you're like, while you're just like working and busy and doing stuff and right, this very fast moving energy comes charging towards you. King of Wands, there it is. Queen of Swords is right after the Queen of the King of Wands. All right, so fire. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. King of Wands. He is driven. He is a leader. He is a passionate lover. And then as soon as I'm like describing this person coming towards you, um, I'm also getting like really funny. This person has a good personality. Charis they have a lot of charisma, a lot of like really good energy to them. Um... Ace of Swords, there it is. With the White Dove, um, I the universe is showing me um, a lot of animals that are f like f getting into like com like com confrontations. Okay, right now out in nature. So literally before I recorded this, I saw outside a dove and um, a, a blue California scrub jay. Um, they're not a blue jay, but like a part of the blue jay family. They were fighting like on like a telephone pole like where the electrical box is like they were like in between the like things and you could see them like you know you could hear them squabbling and fe feathers flapping and you know and then um the, the dove would fly out and then the jay would fly out and then they'd both fly back in and then they would squabble 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 and then they'd fly out and squabble squabble you know and then a couple days ago i got um i was walking on my like a morning walk and a hawk flew like literally literally like I almost thought I was gonna get like claws in my face um literally swooped down like like so close right above me and he was trying to get away from a crow so it was actually a crow and a hawk both right above me and they were the the crow was chasing the hawk and the hawk was trying to get away so then I got that on video and the hawk or the crow chased the hawk the hawk found a tree right across the street swooped into the tree and then at that point the crow just kind of started circling the tree and, and calling the hawk waited there for a moment um to you know build up to figure out what, what which which path they were going to take through the through the branches so they don't you know hurt themselves and stuff right because they have to go quick he did and he took off and that crow never caught up you know because he he took off so there's something very resonant with all that right obviously it's the collective there's a lot of that fighting chaotic argument argu argumentative energy um so for this what i'm getting is this could be that like like i said like someone walked away maybe it could be that where like someone walked away from a situation where it was a lot of it was just very challenging okay because what i'm getting here is like this person has like they're a high vibe person. Like he's showing up as the King of Wands with the Ace of Swords, Archangel Michael energy. So this person is someone who is like this, 
you know, um, for me, what I get with Archangel Michael, it's like a warrior, you know, spirit, someone who's coming in to be a protector for you. And it's like this person, I hear them saying to you, like, like, I know how you feel because I've been through this, a lot of the same stuff in my past, you know? So there's this connection. It's not toxic karmic bond. It's not that. Um, it's just like, we both have come so far. We both have healed. Like we both get it. We're not jealous. We're not, you know, it's like that. And there's something about you and the way you carry yourself, your confidence, you know, cause he's a very confident king. He needs someone who's the same. Otherwise it's going to cause issues. Insecurities and see things like that. Right? So this person sees you as their counterpart. They're equal. You're the one I want. You're the one, you're the one, um, that I've got my eye on. You're the one that I claim, like, I want that person <laughs> in my life. Okay. That is someone right there that I can see myself with. Right. Um, now with the tower showing up, it's kind of confirming here, this very unexpected change happening in your life and it happening very fast and unexpectedly. Okay. Um, there's like rainbow coloring in the, where the, um, where the tower is like, you know, the traditional tarot, it's like a lightning bolt crashes down and creates that. And then it blows the whole tower apart. Right. And that's kind of what I, what, what I'm getting it with the rainbow. It's like this very divine, beautiful, divinely orchestrated, beautiful, um, change in your life right now. Okay. Got the three of swords showing up. And then the two of cups, two, three, and then two. So maybe you guys are seeing 32 or 23 a lot, right? Does break down to a five. So, you know, this means change, <laughs> change, more change. Okay. Ch -ch changes. So <clears throat> two of cups, your, your person universe is bringing in your person whether it's a new person or a past person right they're bringing in your person this is someone who is your balanced partner your your counterpart your equal okay deep soulmate connection here like very strong <clears throat> like you guys have like you guys have known each other many lifetimes you know is is what i get all right okay well we got 12 minutes Um, I'm hearing the name Diane, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of throat chakra stuff happening too. Like yesterday was it I had, or the day before, um, I think it was yesterday, but also the day before too in my live, that's right. Or something like that. Um, I kept getting throat blocks, like throat chakra blocks. So, um, I'm going to get the archetype energy around this connection. I am hearing the date May 1st, and then I got January 17th, which is actually my niece's birthday. Um, so those could be resonant to you as well. Okay, I'm also getting April 5th, <laughs> October 22nd. All right, the gem. Okay, so this is that diamond in the rough. You are the diamond in the rough, meaning the hidden gem. The... apple of their eye and literally like as I'm saying the apple of their eye I look down and there's an eye <laughs> the tear this could be someone who's sad okay if it is someone from your past they're they're sad um maybe right without you or looking at you like you know I want that person <laughs> I'm sad I missed out but I'm getting tears of joy like when this is presented to you, when this, when this is revealed, which is soon <laughs> for a lot of you guys, I could feel the energy of it. It is the tower. It is everything is transforming and changing. It, things are going to, things are shaking up in your life right now. Your whole life is about to change. Okay. And you're going to be crying tears of joy. I'm also getting the message for some of you to allow yourself to cry that's emotional healing that's purging 
that is, um, you know, call on Mother Mary. If you resonate with Mother Mary, you know, she, she governs the heart space and, you know, she is the one to call on um, for emotional support and healing and, you know, um, and she encourages you to, to cry because it's, it's clearing space for this to happen. So for some of you guys, that's a message to, to allow yourself this purge and to release and to cut the cords from whatever it is, and then watch how quickly things start coming in and manifesting because the blockage is gone or the release is no longer blocking or something like that. Right. Okay. So tell me about the two of cups the desert, and then the offering. There's an offer coming in. Okay, for some of you guys, maybe it happens before Valentine's Day. I mean, literally, like, this is so, like, hot, the energy. It's intense. It's, like, I wouldn't be surprised if you, like, you know, go out today and, you know, you're out and about. I can, like, take a trip to Target or something random, right? Costco, <laughs> the grocery store, right? And, um, you know, you're, you're walking, you know, through the store and someone approaches. I'm sorry. I just saw you from across the store or I just saw you down the aisle and, you know, I, I looked, I didn't see a, a wedding ring or, you know, and um, I hope it doesn't come off weird or creepy, but I just think you're beautiful. And if you're open, um, I'd love to maybe get your number and give you and maybe take you out sometime, you know, like that. Okay, and this person is not like a low vibe energy. This person is a high vibe energy. You know, this is not the person who comes up to people and is like sleazy and is hitting on everybody constantly. No, this is someone who, you know, doesn't even need to do that kind of stuff because people just go to them. Seriously. This King of Wands has had a lot of lovers. Okay, let's just be real. This King of Wands has been a little bit of a womanizer probably in his past, right? But he's not that with you. Like, there's this instant soul recognition, right? This, like, I gotta have you, right? Um, and it could be through social media, obviously. Like, social media is so big. So for me, that's just, like, a given. Because so many people can see you if you're on social media. Like, even if your page is private and they can see your thumbnail, okay? If there's something there for them, they'll, it'll, it'll draw them in, right? Um, okay. The mystic, yeah. I, you know what I just got? You see it coming. You see it coming or you know, like you see it coming. Okay. Um, oh, there's my romance angels. Okay. I just wanted to confirm a little bit. And then um, where are we at? 17 minutes. So if this is your message, my loves, be sure to claim it as yours by liking and subscribing to the video. Um, thank you for all your love and support here on YouTube, you guys. We just hit 20K recently, yesterday. It was actually like the night before yesterday, but I didn't post about it till yesterday morning. Um, so thank you, you guys, for all of your love and support here. It's so appreciated. <gasps> I stopped shuffling and look what it is. It's new love. And he's down on one knee and he's holding a red rose. What did I see in my vision? I saw a red rose bursting through the ground like something was planted. A seed was planted a long time ago. It was destined. It was faded. It was written in the stars even, right? And it burst through the ground and I saw it rise up and the red, I said it was red specifically, didn't I? And it was beautiful rose and I saw it open. There it is. There's that red rose that he's holding and he's presenting it to her. He's asking her something, asking her out. But this is like, you know, proposal down on one knee. This new love, okay, could be a past person who comes in with a new frequency, a new vibe, a new perspective because of ascension, right? But it feels like the universe is just presenting you with, with these options. But finally, they present you with, with the one who, who sticks, who isn't meant to, um, you know, dissolve into your past, just teaching you some more things before you meet someone else. No, like who's your counterpart? This is it. A card flew out over here on the ground and it's trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith right now. See the little Cupid baby? It's like, I got this under control, okay? I, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pull my little bow and I'm gonna shoot daddy and he's gonna go to you and he's gonna ask you out because his eyes are gonna be hearts, literally, like an emoji. 
I only have eyes for you, right? And that's really how it is. You guys are, okay, when I get hopelessly devoted by Olivia Newton-John, I'm hopelessly devoted to you, right? That is um powerful for me. Um, just in the way of this unconditional, this is agape love. This is agape. I mean, it's Eros and agape, but this is agape, meaning unconditional. Like this is something very compassionate and loving and nurturing. And, you know, you guys water each other. You know, you don't take from each other. This is not someone from your past who like drug you through the mud, broke your heart and you know, all that stuff. No, this is not that either. This is okay. See, look at this. I said, he's down on one knee. This is engagement, right? Cause I'm very, you know, obviously down on one knee, right? Wedding came out. The situation involves marriage. So yeah, I'd say this is like the one, right? keep an open mind see because some of you guys you know maybe you resonate as a twin flame or you're you've been in a separation right and um but you've released the physical attachment of that outcome of of right like you hear me out guys hear me out the universe is just bringing you in high vibrational soulmates past life soulmates strong soulmates who who are gonna be very fulfilling for you they're not going to bring you someone that's not right so that's why the message is right here it's like keep an open mind because it may not be someone who you're thinking it might be right it could be someone different but it also could be that person who knows right your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations see so it's like maybe you know you typically go for one kind of looking person and how they dress and you know things like that and it's someone a little different and you know it's like that right um, it's also for me, like someone who, what I'm kind of getting is like, <laughs> what I'm kind of getting is like, don't mistake this person's kindness for weakness because they're not that this person is like an, like they are like an emperor energy. They are just being that way because of you. It's you like they're a nice person in general, but when it comes to uh, the, you know, other people and dating and stuff, like I said earlier, they they're, they're, they're quick to the draw and they're quick to pull away. Um, you know, they, they don't, you know, so don't mistake their kindness for weakness. It's because they are all about you. Um, all right. What else? Anything else? Healing family issues and then release your ex. So again, I feel like this is what I was saying earlier about needing to release some things this could also be this other person releasing things in their life somewhere in the world right now too and you know so maybe when you guys come together you'll have like you know a conversation and it'll be like oh yeah like I went through you know an ending you know not too long ago or you know yeah I just recently ended something that was really toxic for me but it was over a long time ago like you know so I'm just getting back out there and then boom I meet you right it's like that but yeah, healing family issues. What I'm also getting is like you guys are soul family. So this is like healing your soul family right now. Bringing you guys together. Wedding. <laughs> you guys are going to marry this person. Two of cups. We're going to the chapel and we're going to get married. Right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. So just to um, just to confirm everything. Wrap it up. Um, actually, I wanted to do a little bit, I wanted to do a little bit more tarot. I wanted to dig into this two of cups a little bit. I am getting Pleiadian energy very heavily right now. So I feel like a lot of you guys, a lot of you star seeds watching this, you're going to resonate with that. Like as Pleiadian. Okay. It's a king. It's a king of pentacles. And then justice, yin and yang. This is your person. Divine masculine, divine feminine coming together. Balance. You know, with the two of cups, I was, I said, this is a balanced union because with the two cups and the two energy, I, I was hearing balance. I was getting balance, like more than anything else. This is also, you know, emotional balance, right? 
you guys um work with each other well you guys bounce off each other you guys like 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 play off each other in such a beautiful way you know i'm getting each, you know finishing each other's sentences it's like that but you guys you guys it's like harmonious and fun and you know there's high levels of respect between the two of you um it's it's this it's justice so this is karmic justice and then king of pentacles clarifying someone who's solid and stable probably you know wealthy or has a really good career like they make good money the king he's the king of money so you know taurus Virgo, capricorn energy too libra here with the um with the justice card and then we have the three of pentacles and then we have the lovers and there's the freaking queen of wands are you kidding me ten of swords all right so after a time of painful endings healing things of that nature you get the you get the because we have the ten that showed up but we have the ace come out first right you get your you you get your victory you get your win you get your justice this is what the universe is bringing in for you right now I told you I talked all about the Queen of Wands and his like he needs someone like him who's also confident who's also you know um good looking and driven and you know um they they work you know they want to they're very they're, they have a lot of passion and you know they're very sensual you know just like that like there it is meeting your match meeting your match and you have the two of cups and the lovers this is someone who maybe you dated in the past for three weeks <laughs> or just three days, or even um, three months, okay? It didn't go farther than that. It did not go farther past than like the honeymoon stage if it did, okay? But this is someone who will want to build with you. This is someone who wants to show you something too, okay? Yeah, it's like, I wanna show you so much love. Okay, so yeah, get ready, you guys, get ready. Something big, something big is about to crash down into your life into your world, changing it immensely. I'm hearing moving across the country. Okay, so for some of you guys, you move across the country or this person moves across the country to be with you. It's like that, like no more playing. The universe is not playing. This is universe telling you I'm not playing upright, <laughs> right? So King of Pentacles, I mean, the King of Pentacles is my favorite king personally in the deck of the tarot. Um, I just love what he's all about, his energy. He's very grounded, very earthy. Um, you know, he could obviously have his, you know, shadow traits of stubbornness and this and that, not liking change and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But, um, but he's someone that is very strong and you can count on this person. It's reliable. It's consistent. Um, you know, I'm hearing understanding. This is someone who's understanding of you. You know, they're secure in themselves. So they don't, you know, they're not going to be insecure with you and create drama and, you know, try to be possessive and things like that. No, that's, this is someone who's, who knows who they are. Okay. I'm seeing helicopters too. So I don't know, um, that could be resonant to you somehow helicopters, but what I'm, I'm okay. Like what I'm getting is taking off. Things are taking off. It's like, I saw like a helicopter, like with the propellers, like spinning and it like is going like this, like taking off like that. Right. So that's what that is. Okay. This person also for you, when you meet them, they make, maybe they own their own helicopter or, um, you know, maybe they travel for work a lot. A lot of people do that kind of stuff. You know, it's to have personal like airplanes, like a one man plane or, um, a chopper. Right. Um, or like for one of your first dates or something or on a date, they take you on a helicopter ride or something like that too. You know, I don't know. I'm just getting it. And now I'm hearing the song by Pistol Annie's. I'm hell on heels. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know guys, but anyways, this is what I have for you. So, um, oh no, I was gonna do my little into it. That's right. Sorry guys. So if you would like to book a personal psychic session with me, you want to hone in, um, see what's coming in for you, hone in on your own, you know, journey, whatever it is. Um, you can find all the information down below. I offer a 30 minute general reading, um, a 20 minute vent sesh. The vent sesh is not a reading, but a vent sesh. So it's just like you being able to talk about things that maybe you feel like you can't talk about with other people because maybe they make you feel crazy, but you're not because you're just going through ascension and you're awakening, you know, that kind of stuff. 
Um, and then I do a past life Akashic reading as well. Um, if you guys are interested in purchasing your own bouquet from Rose Forever in New York City, you guys, I'm obsessed with these roses. Um, they just, like I always say, like they make me feel so just empressy and beautiful. And I'm hearing royal too, but like I love them so much. Um, so if it's something you feel like you want to honor yourself in and, and buy yourself, you know, a bouquet or maybe send some someone you love a bouquet on Valentine's Day or any time really, right? It, it, any time should be love day, right? Um, click on the link below where everything else is and you'll see it right there at the top. Uh, a little bit about the, the company. Um, my promo code that you will use upon your, your checkout and their website. So you can click on the link and go directly there to start viewing the flowers. So many different colors, so many different styles. It's um, really beautiful. So, okay. All right, so let's do the intro now. Clarify this, please. And thank you again, you guys, for hanging out and, and watching. Um, I am uploading a lot of the short and sweet energy check-ins for the Zodiacs, okay? For the first half of February. Because I definitely want to get those done before, like, <laughs> the middle of February. Um, and then, you know, and then start doing the end of months for you guys before March. All right. Oh my gosh. Look at your ship coming in. I told you with the two with the two of pentacles earlier. Oh, I didn't take it out. It was like on wait, didn't no, I thought I did take it out. It came out, didn't it? I think I may have accidentally put it back in the deck, you guys. Sorry. But when the two of pentacles came out earlier, um it was like I was very drawn to the ship behind him. Like you're just like busy doing your life, you know, figuring all of the things out, doing all the things, doing all the things. And then this huge ship of abundance, magic, um, you know, soulmate energy, uh, money, finance, financial gain, spiritual wealth, everything, everything is on that ship. That ship is fully loaded too. It just comes right in, comes right in. Okay. And you know what I got right now too about the ships? You guys are no longer two ships passing in the night. Ooh, I got the chills on my right side, which is masculine in me. So I think that you guys um, may have just, you could pass by this person in public on a daily basis at the coffee shop. Like, I have no idea, but at one point you guys were two ships passing in the night. No more. No more. Okay, so it says going places, an adventure, a vacation, a trip, vehicle, enterprise, movement, with the wind, swift energy, travel and overseas. So again, how I heard earlier, uh, flying, moving across country, there it is. You might have to, it's like about travel, distance, you know, but someone traveling towards you. But when I said, oh my gosh, <laughs> the first card that flew out, flew out super hard, super fast, and it landed on top of the lover's card right here with the two of cups, landed on top of it. Look what it is. It's the Celtic knot, you guys. I, it, this is wild. I told you, I felt it. Like, you guys know how I receive my messages. Because, you know, I'm a, a psychic medium, oracle prophetess. Like, I don't need those, right? I see differently. I see everything I need to see. Unconditional love. This is a love that cannot be broken. This is an internal bond. Eternal love. Definitely past life energy with this one. It could be twin flame. It's past life -y though. Like, like, I mean, this is, this is beautiful. I'm really excited for the collective. I'm excited for me, shoot. <laughs> I'm just out here single trying to do my thing, right? You know, live my best life, build my empire, my business, my, my, my ranch, you know, I'm working towards everything so I can do that. The lovers. It's time for you to receive. That's what I'm getting. Divine union, infinity, eternal love, enduring, connected, love of a lifetime. Yeah, you guys are very connected. I feel like this person is like awoken too. Like this person is connected. They're very intuitive. You know, they're very psychic. Like they just feel things, know things, sense things, you know, that kind of stuff. So you guys are going to be vibing high together. Wow. Let's get one more, please. The winter waning crescent. So winter is waning. We are, it's getting closer and closer and closer to the new spring fresh energy, right? So what this is saying right here is that, look at this, a good omen, monogamy, stamina. 
albatross. Someone could be a winter baby, right? But it's happening now while it's still winter. That's the message for me, okay? Now this could also, for some, be someone from the past who was maybe detached, maybe cold, or you know they pulled away or ghosted or something like that, right? Well, there's been a shift. It's up to you whether you want it or not, right? Free will, but there's been a shift, okay? All right, so contemplation, yuletide, go within, the holidays, celebration, the end, complete. That's what it is. It's like, it's the end of your single life. The end, completion. This is completion in your seventh house, your house of marriage and partnerships. That's what I'm getting here. So... I love it for you guys. The lovers, Gemini energy, major arcana coming out here with the Celtic knot, wedding, new love, trust. I mean, you guys, it's, you know what I'm getting? You guys did all the right things. You guys aligned and you guys started doing all the right things. Detaching from outcomes. Stop wondering when's it going to happen for me? Is it going to happen today? Is it going to happen next week? You know, did it right? Am I going to get communication from my, from my DM? Like, you know, will it be today? Will it be tomorrow? It's like, you got to let that stuff go because that creates resistance, right? So that's what you guys started doing. You just said, you know what? I trust. Jesus, take the wheel, right? For some reason, where we got 36 minutes, that's not bad. Okay. I feel called just real quick to get an angel message and then one of these cards for you, which is like, just like a fortune telling card. Tell us about this, this divine, eternal love coming in. Ooh, see that? Here we go. Sensuality. Express your sensuality. That's beautiful. The car, I mean, I know because it has like the thing, but like it's all green and flowing and there's rainbow here. She's holding like what looks like the Ace of Cups. It's very fertile energy. There's a child here hanging in a tree. She's like a little fairy child. All right, your fairy your fairy guides are helping you. Those of you guys that really um, connect and are tuned in in that way with the fae. Oh my gosh, this is my, okay, so this is a card that has the flowers here. It's called foxgloves. They're one of my favorite flowers and I have them, I always plant them um, in my gardens and in my yards and stuff like that. Um, they are a deer deterrent, so it's wonderful for that because the deers, you know, like to eat all your garden stuff and your flowers. Um, but also it's a flower of many things, but it means protection. So remember earlier I was saying about this person being like a warrior spirit, warrior energy, like very protective, very, right? Um, that's what I get from that. Okay. So your life is about to be very sensual. Your, your sacral energy is going to be very activated here between the two of you guys. It's a sensual union. You guys just can't, like, you want to bottle each other up. Like, you can't get enough of each other. You can't stop kissing. You can't stop, like, touching. You can't stop holding each other's hands, you know? Um, look at this. Vacuum away fear. Call upon Archangels Michael and Raphael to lift fear-based energy from you, your surroundings, the situation, and everyone involved. So again, remember earlier how I, everything I say is always for a reason. And when I received that about needing to release because something's coming in, making that energetic space, that's this for me. Okay. But that could also, you know, be someone who had to vacuum away their own fears. Okay. To maybe come towards you, right? After being detached. I don't know. You'll know. Um, but that's what I have for you, my loves. So anyways, love is in the air right um yesterday in my reading i saw they they showed me a huge it looked like those like the color was like this pink color right and it was like a huge heart candy <laughs> like those little heart candies for valentine's day you know that come in the box with all the sayings xoxo it but it said be mine in red letters be mine so someone is going to come in and they want you to be theirs so that's what i have for you so Mwah. bye guys